you guys it's your girl kim and i'm back at it again with another video just uploaded a video yesterday was it yesterday yeah it was yesterday and now it's the day after the and i'm making another one for you guys yay and just so you guys know i just cleansed my face to kind of prep it for um like makeup and i have been using a new cleanser for like the past couple months since i've been away from youtube this is what i've been using it is the cerave foaming um facial cleanser for normal to oily skin well, yeah the only thing i would say about this is that if you use it too much like every day you're definitely gonna have like some dryness i have dryness right now and i'm pretty sure it's because of the cleanser but it has helped with keeping my face pretty pretty good and this is the only thing that i have been using you know and then moisturizing after but that's it just this and a moisturizer and that's the only that's my skincare routine update for you guys you know because i've been gone for a little bit like i was just doing a lot using a lot on my face and i just kind of you know backed away from all that well for one because it was all packed up like i said in my previous video i had everything like ready to go so i still have all of that packed up the only thing that i have unpacked is my makeup and like my my lights to make videos and that's it Every, my clothes are still packed up like everything is basically still in boxes except for my makeup so since my skincare is still boxed up i didn't take any of that out i you know just needed a cleanser to get by these next few months and i have been using this cerave foaming facial cleanser for oily skin no more oily and i've been really liking it it's been keeping my face pretty clean and like pimple free i haven't had any breakouts using it just like little breakouts like i just got my period well i didn't just get it but i just got off of it and while i was on you know my monthly visit <laughs> i did get like a breakout right here right there right there i have like a few breakouts um but that usually happens when i'm like stressed or when i'm getting my period and just like you know stuff like that that just causes you know breakouts i go through so but other than that though um like when i'm not on my period and, I, and i'm not stressed it keeps my skin like pretty good like it's a pretty good cleanser so i'm really enjoying it but just be careful because it, it can have the tendency to kind of leave you feeling a little dry if you're just like really using it a lot so like don't use it so much yeah enough of skincare enough i just wanted to let you guys know like what i'm doing to keep up with my skin also like when it comes to makeup when i have like a full face of makeup on what i've been using to take my makeup off i have been using makeup wipes um you guys know already i'm pretty sure i've shared my makeup wipes a couple of times but my favorite makeup wipes that i've been using like since i found out about makeup wipes like since for years okay i have been using the neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes and they're in the purple packaging because they're supposed to be like night calming so this is a makeup wipe that i use um and i'll kind of use that you know to like freshen up my face a little bit if i feel like my face is feeling like a little dirty and i'm not wearing makeup i use it kind of like a like a cleanser in between cleansing like you know what i mean like a <clears throat> like an in between type thing or i actually use it to take my makeup off and also if like i have a real like real heavy like full face of makeup um i really need something to really get all that gunk off my face i have been using coconut oil just coconut oil i'll uh, just be careful if you're using oils to take like break down your makeup so far i've been really finding it to help take off my makeup and really break it down i haven't had breakouts so it, the coconut oil to kind of break down my makeup has been working for me um i guess the only thing i would say to you guys if you're like interested in using a coconut oil to break down your makeup because like you're on a budget or you're just like you know need to keep it cheap um i understand that like that's why i started using coconut oil because it's like inexpensive and it's just like a cheaper alternative than having like a cleansing balm or buying a cleanser that removes makeup or like even makeup wipes are expensive to me that's why i started looking into coconut oil and i've been using coconut like i had coconut oil like at home already because sometimes i'll put coconut oil in my like in the ends of my hair to give my hair like moisture and some help with the dryness because my hair is dry and like damaged and i do have like like split ends and stuff so i'll you know put coconut oil in my hair so like i already had coconut oil on hand Just put like some coconut oil in the palm of your hand and kind of mix it a little bit with water like dilute the oil so it's not so oily you know just kind of rub it on your face and it works like a cleansing balm honestly my makeup like comes off completely your face does feel like oily but i really try to get like some warm water and really rinse off the excess coconut oil off my face as best as as best as i could and, and also coconut oil is really good for dryness which i do experience using that cleanser that i showed you guys that's like basically my whole skincare my cerave cleanser my makeup wipes my coconut oil 
and then the last thing that I like what I use to moisturize moisturize okay I can't freaking talk Ugh. just like finished cleansing my face with my CeraVe cleanser right before I started to film this is why I'm talking about all of this extra shit because I'm I already was like in that headspace with skincare so I might as well just throw it in there real quick anyway so for moisturizer after doing all of that my last step for the skincare that I have been doing to myself is um the derma e vitamin c intense night cream so this is like the only facial cream that i have right now well i have another one that is like i guess i'll show it to you guys in a minute but let me just talk about this one first so this is a night cream and i would definitely use this at night except for today in this video i'm actually going to put this on my face because i just really need something thick and nourishing because like i really do have some dryness going on and i think the cleanser is kind of flaring up my eczema um and i and you can kind of notice it in my previous video too before i started applying my foundation you saw some red patches on my forehead um sometimes i feel like i get it right here and on my eyes and like right now i have it on like the sides of my face where it's just really dry so i feel like and i do have eczema like i just said so i feel like the cleanser is drying my skin out like even worse because i do have eczema already so i feel like i need something really thick and really nourishing and what i have been using for that is this night cream from the brand derma e and it's like a vitamin c intense night cream so it's really moisturizing and it brightens and evens the skin tone of your face so this is what i have been using so i'm gonna take just like a little bit because i'm telling you it's really thick and really moisturizing so you don't need a lot less than this but i'm feeling a little dry today so so i usually like to start placing like the, my moisturizer in my most driest areas of my face first so they get the most product because my eyes are the driest especially under my eyes i have like dry patch under each eye and then dry patch on my actual eyelid i have dry patches right here like in the sideburn area close to my ear i have dry patches on my forehead and like on my hairline and it's just like a dry it's like a sahara desert on my face so I really needed like intense, intense moisture, which is what this night cream claims to give you throughout the night. Then I figure, why not? Okay, so enough of this. So if it's if I'm like cleansing my face during the day, and I don't need a night cream because it's not night. It's actually not really a moisturizer. It's actually a lotion for like eczema skin from the brand Vaseline. Is it Vaseline? Yeah, the lotion brand Vaseline. You can find it at Target and it says, you know, lotion for eczema, eczema relief. Um, so I use that as kind of a moisturizer throughout the day. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go into my eyebrows. What, did I even say like what this video is going to be about yet? No, I don't think I did. This eyebrow pencil from NYX, it's like really good. To get really detailed like about the way you're filling your brows in like if you only need it in like real specific areas like in your sparser areas my sparser areas of my brows i definitely say is the front so like the front of my brows i really like to come in there and really shape it out <laughs> also the dog princess She's just chilling back there. <laughs> princess! What are you doing, princess? <laughs> so, yeah. How have you guys been today? It's literally Monday. Mondays can be kind of tough. Especially if you have, like, a long weekend. Because you got to get back into the routine for the week. And it can be hard. And Oh my gosh, I still haven't talked about what this video is going to be about or what the heck I'm doing. I, I like to hold out on getting my eyebrows done until like I can't do it no more. Even plucking them out before I take my ass to go get them done. <laughs> so if my eyebrows bug you guys because they're just too crazy, I'm sorry, but that's just, that's just how it is over here. I'm going to take my concealer, my ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and I have it in the shade Light 60. This is the concealer that I have been using lately to kind of carve out my eyebrows and use it as um, base, a base for my eyeshadow. I was at my boyfriend's house, but then I left to come home because he wanted to play the game for a few hours. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm not just going to like be laying on the bed or sitting on the bed 
and like watch your back for a few hours or be on my phone because I've been on my phone and I've watched all the shows I could possibly watch to the point where there's nothing good on anymore. So I'm like, dude, I'm not going to like do all that. So I told him I'm coming home. And so I came here, told him, well, if you're going to get on the game, then I'm going to do my makeup and make a little video. And so that's why how I ended up here. And because I just got that new palette, so now I'm, now I'm finally going to tell you what this video is like going to be. Now I get to it. Um, but so since my boyfriend's on the game and stuff at his house, I came home to my house to where all my makeup is to do a like little quick, you know, cute little video so that I could post on my channel. And I'm going to be using that palette that I bought. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video, I unboxed a Morphe palette. It was a collaboration palette with Jesse Star, the pink palette that, you know, he recently collabed with Morphe. Just got, you know, just came out recently. And I went ahead and ordered it. And I used it in that video. I did like a little green, like, eyeshadow moment. And today I'm just going to, you know, continue to play with that palette, like different colors than the green shades that I used because I really want, I'm really curious about I just really want to um, get a better feel for that palette that um, Jeffrey collabed, that Jeffrey made with Morphe so. so now I'm taking, you know, my e.l.f. sponge from the drugstore and blending my concealer but my eyelids are so dry okay so <clears throat> I'm not gonna really talk I'm probably just going to fast forward like the eyeshadow and the makeup <clears throat> I just want to just like talk to you guys for like half of the video and like the rest of the video I'm going to just let some music in the background and just like fast forward so you guys could just watch show you some blending action and you know things like that because I can't multitask like I can't talk and be applying makeup um, I have to be like quiet and concentrated which kind of sucks especially when it comes to videos because you have to like be entertaining and like talking <clears throat> I <laughs> still trying to work on that Okay, you're not going to hear me for the rest of the video. You're going to hear some like chill music in the background and just watch me see what other look I come up with using the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette.
So could we all unite? Could we all unite? Tonight Solutions hard to find Solutions hard to find Could we all unite? So could we all unite? Could we all unite? Color. 